Hello, um, I'm Hannah, and this is my first ever um, video for this channel. Um, I wanted to take away from another channel because I did start doing one, and then I thought, well, you know, uh, number one rule is to not mix up your content. You know, before I was like ranting and just talking a bit of beauty, because like, although I'm not going to be anything like any one of these channels. I enjoy listening to my voice and I enjoy makeup, so it just seemed like a good thing to do. Um, so yeah, so basically this is um, more of a diary to myself. Um, if people watch it, then great. If not, then that's cool because it's more about it's going to be my journey to weight loss. Um, I'm obviously I'm not huge right now, but in weight wise, I may be deemed to be. Um, I went to, well I go to the gym and my gym instructor did my BMI but he didn't do it by the crappy um, scales because the scales only do it to your heaviest part and down and obviously my heaviest part is my lower half because I'm very bottom heavy um, so <laughs> I had like in Christmas I had a BMI of like 29 something like so close to obese but then I got weighed um, in June and my BMI has never been as low as this and it was 26.8 and I was like what so short anyway so my goal is to get a flat stomach by 20 the age I'm 20 I am 19 and it is July and my birthday is in December so that gives me five months to get a flat stomach um I can show you a before picture I don't know how to insert things on here because I am bloody awful but if you bear with me two seconds I will show you a before um picture sorry my um battery <laughs> things just gonna uh okay so a before picture would be this was in October my mum got married in Jamaica she came back for her wedding reception and my aunt was like, you don't look as glamorous as you normally do. And I thought, oh, well, I thought, I'd, you know, you, you just don't, you always think you look glamorous. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> but I didn't. And looking at it now, I can understand. Um, this is my heaviest, and my heaviest was 15.5. Um, and this was the end of October. Um, and then I only started to realise that it was 15.5. So I don't know how big, I could have lost weight by then. But um, I found out that on January the 1st. Um, that was how big and that was towards the no that was November that was November not the 30th and then for a picture that was taken four days ago which shows you where I am now I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not skinny but I'm not I'm not you know what I mean I'm not fat um, and this was have I got the other note that, yeah, this was like, this is what I look like now. Um, so as you can see, I've got thicker thighs, I've got a bigger bum, I've got a bigger uh, boobs, so I'm very abogast, um, <clears throat> I've got a small waist, um, you know, the one thing that my mum and my nan always said that they can do is the fact that I'm comfortable with the shape because overall I am very comfortable with my shape, you know, my figure. The thing that annoys me, you know, being a size 14 is per like for me that's completely fine. It's I like I like being it. Um I think as I said the only thing I would want to do is to get a flat stomach and I can show you I took this morning. Um, and when I stand up, I do have more, like, I can I can do that, like, with my belly, um, when I lie down. This is not breathing in. This is the morning, by the way, so, you know, you are naturally skinnier in the morning. You get your heaviest around noon. So that was um, lying down. And standing up, like, it's, it's, it's a different story. Like, if I can get, if I can get one standing up. I mean, if you can see, like, I am very bottom heavy, and I do have, um, 
obviously I've got I've got work to do and I've got to tighten things up and uh, you know think else and I've been watching a lot of YouTube things and I've been you know the whole raw for life thing and it looks dead interesting but I think it's just I think for a lot of people it might be um sustainable but a meat liver myself I couldn't I couldn't just cold turkey me I, j I don't know how you know we as humans are designed to eat meat like we're not we're not meant to, is it herbivores we're not meant to be herbivores we're meant to eat that's the the cycle of life and they they have been selling me though like saying how much younger and fitter and um more energized they feel um so it is selling me to at least give it a try but i just it's just mental to me um how anyone can like i understand vegetarians but people that go from being meat eaters to just cutting it out i just i just don't understand that um but who to them because they all look so skinny so anyway so you can see that and <laughs> sorry my hair it's awful and um, it's in such bad condition um <laughs> <clears throat> where I was going with this was yeah so I saw that and it made me think and it and it made me question my lifestyle because obviously like everyone has to go to the loo and like looking at you know I'm like should it look like that and then I google I'm like oh does it say they have water deficiency like I'm not having enough water no it was um I need to increase my water intake and have fibre deficiency so then I'm like, oh shit. So what I thought is I basically, I'm not a firm believer of the pills because if I thought there was a pill that could be the magical pill and get rid of all your weight, then I'd be fucking on it. And I don't care about price. I would save up for that shit and I'm a student. Like, I would not eat <laughs> for that pill. As I don't want to drop too much weight, I want to get a smaller stomach. But if it's going to help me do that, then hell yeah. Who just want the quick fix? But I know my naivety isn't that little that it just doesn't happen like that like you know everything everything worth having is hard work and it wouldn't be worth it if you just got it like i'm a chaser like i like chasing things and if i just got it on a plate then i'd be like oh <laughs> well this isn't exciting like you know if you i think something that you need to chase is obviously a reason why it needs to be chased that's going off on a tangent. Anyhow, so when I did kind of think that maybe I could get a supplement that could help me, because, I mean, they do help me. Like, no, not help me, but they do help people. I understand how they work, and, you know, um, the science in, in, in speed of metabolism and um, uh, cut, cutting appetite and, to like, shit to do with war attention and fat and, like... Blah, 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 blah. I don't know too much about it. Mine had pills. Um, she got subscribed to the doctor because she was nearly at BMI 30. She's fucking... She's lost so much weight now. She's so skinny. But basically, it just... Uh, <laughs> like, just saying it. It basically, like, she just wouldn't consume fat or something like that. And her poos would be very greasy and oily. And it would just basically would just flush it out. Um, I... I don't think it's the healthiest way of doing it, but it helps give that kick start, which I think a lot of these pills for some people do. They give them a the kick start, see what they can look like, and then they have that kind of that boost, that kind of um, optimism to work further and to, to not need the pills, but to just do it on their own. And I think that's amazing. And she is what she is now because of these. I think she's a bit of a bitch for getting them, and I have to do it this way. Basically, <laughs> going into the short story, when I thought that um, the whole pills was, this, well, not the solution, but to help me, I did buy these pills, and, and they were like 25 quid, but my boyfriend at the time was like, you're fucking crazy, Han, you know, you should have researched it before making the money. I'm like, no, no, they will work, and all this, you know, because the guy said, I think, what was it? It's like the one, the really famous ones in UK, that brand, was it her? The grain shop, I don't know. It's everywhere. The, the, the shit that does supplement and healthy food. Anyway, so they basically come in a packaging. I did try five days, and I feel like it did make me go regular. 
But anyway, so I had that issue with obviously my bowels and I just kind of want to flush everything out and this is exactly what it is and I thought, I've oh, fucking got a use for them now. They're just sitting around. I don't want to bin them because it's like 20 quid down the drain. I thought I'd give them a use. And I'm not at uni, so it's not like I need to regularly go... Um, like it's not really awkward to go to the loo at home. Obviously I work, but I don't work 24-7. But they basically come like this. Um, and it's a 15-day plan. I think I probably had a day, so it's like a two-week plan. And I personally couldn't swallow this in one. I know there's good swallowers out there, but I mean, it's like fucking dry, dry wood to swallow. So I had to halve the pill. I, I honestly don't know how you swallow that in one. If you do, kudos to you. Um, so yeah, and this is the package on the front. It looks legit. It's 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 pa it's, it's apparently a Danish do uh, detox plan. It's called Biofirm. It has cleansing, so it's just basically flushing everything out, which I want to do. I want to start afresh, I want to get healthier, I want to go back to uni, um, I'm going to be skin anyway, so <sighs> the food's not going to be amazing, but I think I'm going to have to like drink more water and get all my fruit, and I might just try, and instead of eating food, I just might, might, I might try and like juice it, or go on a shake fucking thing, it basically look like that, some nice lass on it, um, nice little trees with a bit of holograph on it, which says new New Doric. Um, <clears throat> so I'll give you a brief download of what the back says. I'm not going to read it all. <clears throat> so, um, so you meant to take two tablets a day with a large glass of water, three, um, three glass, three glasses of water daily for two weeks. Uh, the results will be a significant enhance of the following plan for at least two weeks and ideally six weeks. But who can afford that? So you meant to drink 3.5 to 2 litres a day, which I was talking to my gym person, I did. Spring water is recommended. Thank you for the... Okay, so it says Biofirm TM. It's based in a herbal formulation successful use, successfully used in Denmark for more than 10 years. Biofirm is a gentle yet effective formula containing herb, herbs which naturally supports the body's own internal processes of eliminating and detoxation. Biofirm is simple to use and works without fasting, not tested on animals. Sick. So you vegans or vegetarians or um, you raw for lifers, it's not used on animals, so it's good to go. Um, <laughs> So I'm going to give it a bash, see what happens. I just want a bit of a flush. As I said, I've got five months to get skinny. Not skinny, slim belly. Um, and toned. And I'm excited, really. I'm a bit gritty that I haven't got the gym. I tried running for the first time outdoors. Like, <laughs> it's fucking awful. For me, it's like loads of hills, and like, because I live in the country. And I was like, running up the hill. And I was like, <gasps> All I could think was, my treadmill does not go this steep. <laughs> like, it just is like fucking like that. When you look at it, and you think, oh, that's, that's piss easy. Do you know what I mean? That's like a it's like a 20 degree slope. And when you run in it, it's like a bloody 90 degree, and you feel like you're going to fall over at any point. I, it was disgusting. And like, my breathing is like, Ugh. whenever I'm on a treadmill, it's fine. Like, I can run for God knows how long. As soon as you give me a slopey surface and a bit of fucking oxygen, I'm dead. I don't know. I don't know how you people do it. I need to get trained. I don't know. It's impressive. Um, so I'm just so excited to go back to uni, get back into my gym and fucking work out. Because then I'll only have about like two and a half months to get there. So this is going to have to be my diet for the month, like six weeks. Um, so yeah. <laughs> it's just mental. Like me thinking of me trying to run up that hill. <laughs> I look like such a tit if someone was like fucking watching me. <laughs> but what I wanted to say is, you know, I'm happy with my shape and I think anyone should be. Yeah. You know, the recommended woman size is a size 16 but yeah I go to some online stores and a 14 is class extra large and I don't understand that when the average woman size is a 14 to me that just doesn't make sense yeah 
this is my first one just letting you know telling you what's happening and hopefully i see some results so my future hannah see ya sorry my mum's come to her so it's a bit awkward she comes in to see me talking to a screen so i'm gonna go now um but yeah see ya all good stuff